All right, folks, in this video, we are going to take a look at the book feature in Moodle. Uh, so first thing, as always, when you start up, you want to turn the edit mode on. And the book feature is this ability to kind of create a contained uh, learning resource that may feel in some ways like a book and also have some features of a book that we're familiar with. So let's go to add activity or resource and we will find the book is right here and again we can use the little the little eye icon if we want to learn more about it open up we give this a name um, and just as a forewarning I am actually going to copy and paste stuff directly from uh, an entry in Wikipedia on the uncanny valley because I just to make this go quickly. Um, so again, I can always give a description of what this is, what they can expect. I tend to strongly encourage that, give them a sense of, of what they will be doing here. Uh, under appearance, you have uh, a couple choices here of, you know, you can, uh, the chapter formatting can be in numbers, it can be bullets, it can be indented, or you can have none. Let's go with numbers. Uh, so custom titles, I can play around with, you know, how I want the titles to be. Uh, again, if you use a question mark, it gives you a sense of what you can expect there. Um, I would tend to keep it simple, especially if it's your first time playing around, and then go in and maybe play with custom titles a little more. Uh, common modules, restriction access, you know, you can largely skip those um, unless you're looking for the, with restrict access, if there's only certain people you want to see this, then you would play with that. Activity completion, again, I tend to default to show activity complete when conditions are met, met and that those conditions are must view. Um, I can also do an expected completed on, which will give them a nudge in their calendar and notification systems. All right, this is all I have to do for the initial setup. I'm just kind of creating the, the bucket as you would uh, for this actual, for the actual book. So I'm gonna hit save and display. And now it's gonna ask me to start to create chapters. So as I said, I'm doing this on the Uncanny Valley. So the first chapter I'm gonna borrow is uh, etymology. And typically, there you know your chapters can go or the content can go as long or as far as you want. Um, and notice again within this, think about this as if this is the chapter, then this is the content, and you can add a bunch of text. You can also, as you see, you have the HTML editor toolbar. You can add video, images, emojis, whatever you want. Now we have this little uh, button right here that you actually can't see, and this is, or that you can't actually, you can see, you actually can't check. Um, this is to create subchapters. So if you want to create subsections, etc., you certainly can. Um, however, you can only do that after the first chapter is created, right? So you can't have subchapters until you have a first chapter. But say I fill in here all that I want, it's looking good. I can give it tags if I want. Otherwise, I can do save changes. All right. Now I have the start of my book, and if you notice, I now have over here on the right that table of contents. So the things are looking good. Um, over here, I have a couple different options. I can edit this first chapter, I can delete it, I can hide it, or I can add the next chapter. So let's add the next chapter just so you get a taste of this. Um, so here, again, borrowing from the Wikipedia entry, I am going with hypothesis. And I'm gonna toss that text right into there. And again, I can add this as a subchapter if I want. And in fact, I'm gonna add it as a subchapter just so we get a sense of what that looks like visually. Once it's all done, great, ta-da, now it, this is what it looks like. Uh, I can go back to book and notice I start to get some navigation. You know, I'm here on this page, I can go to the next. It lets me select it, there we go. All right, so those things are starting to look good. Now you'll notice, you know, we, we are here, we're in the book, and yet we're still looking, you know, um, that little area we had over here that told us the, the book's outline has disappeared. No problem, I just click on this little icon in the right corner, and now I am back. And again, we can see here what that table of contents looks like, right? So we've got etymology, we now have hypothesis. Let's add one more chapter. Uh, and here's something to notice is that because I clicked on hypothesis it and to add hypothesis and hypothesis is a subchapter, now it has me at 
defaulting to subchapter. So if I don't want this to be a subchapter, I will select, uh, it will uncheck that box, and we'll do the next item. And here we go, we're going to add theoretical basis, which is a bunch of text now I have to copy over. And once it's in there, I hit save changes. And now you see that it is back, you know, we're back to the additional chapters. Also notice I have the ability to move things up and down and adjust them accordingly. So I can move hypothesis up, but if I do that, it's going to become its own chapter. All right, now we've got a couple chapters in our book. Um, it's looking good. You know, it's a nice, good, clean way to, to navigate something. So let's go into seeing what the student would see. So we're going to switch roles to a student. And now we are in the book. So notice kind of good clear navigation on the right. I can come in once I'm done, done with one chapter, move to the next and move to the next. So if you have something that you're creating that you feel would be really good for this like direct pathway of working through, um, this is definitely your your tool to use. Um, it's, you know, there's plenty of other things and, and people may find this less exciting if they've already created content elsewhere or if they have PDFs and stuff, but if you are creating some original content, you want a pathway for them to kind of think through or explore a topic, uh, the book feature is, is pretty good way to go. And then you can see here again on the main page, it shows up as this little book icon uh, and provides the title. So hopefully this is useful. Let me know if you have any questions.